How exciting is it to be here and finally have this film out into the world? Honestly, it really is a dream come true. That's all I can keep saying. It's a dream come true. We did it. We did it. Well, the trailer said that this isn't your mother's Mean Girls. How do you think that this film connects to a new generation? Um, I think it connects because we didn't have social media in 04. So now we get to see what life is like with a burn book and with an iPhone or Android, if that's your thing. Um, and just what life is like for teenagers now. Like a burn book IG account. Right, exactly. Right, right. Insane. What was the musical prep process like? Uh, the musical process was extremely exciting. We had an amazing music team to bring that together with our director, Kyle Hanagami, and then our director, Samantha Art, and then Tina Fey always being there. It was a great time. Was there a musical number that was particularly fun or even particularly difficult to shoot? Re Revenge Party was both difficult and both fun. Um, but it's also a good time. All of the cast is in it, all of the dancers, everybody brought their best foot forward for that number. Yeah. Well, I also talked to Daniel Francesi, who played Damien in the original film. He said he didn't get a chance to meet you yet. It'll be tonight. It'll be tonight that I get to meet him and I get to say thank you in person. Yeah, and how great was it to watch him in the film and kind of follow in those footsteps, but also make it your own because it's also based off of the show? and your own personality and your own take on it. Yeah, he was the only plus-size queer character that I had, plus-size queer boy that I saw on screen. Uh, and to see a shoe thrown at his face and to see him throw it back and reclaim his power as a queer man honestly was like everything to me when I was younger. So the fact that I get to step in those shoes and continue his legacy, continue the legacy that he started, he is the blueprint. I honor him, I honor Tina, I honor everybody in the 04 film and the Broadway cast. Yeah. And finally, I have to ask, this is, of course, an iconic, based off of an iconic film. What other early 2000s film would you love to see as a musical next? Oh, early 2000s film? I'm going to say Last Holiday with Queen Latifah. Many people don't know it, but they should.